Kia ora, welcome back to the Queenstown Wanaka Dirt Report. My name is Nick Hine and this week we are with the Queenstown Mountain Bike Club for one of their weekly dig nights. That's right, these legends are volunteers and they come up and they get digging. Maintain the trails, make the trail network in the region as amazing as it is. Today we're going to be talking with Queenstown Mountain Bike Club's very own Howard Connor about what goes into dig night and what goes into maintaining trails. Wednesday Night Digs is a group of volunteers who get together and build and maintain the trails. I reckon Wednesday Dig Nights are so special because it's a great way to put back into the biking community. Over the past few weeks, with the changing of weather, we've been seeing some pretty hot days and then some pretty wet days as well. The terrain's grippy, the routes are just slippy enough, but it's just a fun time for all. To the region, well, Queenstown Bike Park, well, access via Skyline Gondola is now open until 7 p.m. every night. That's every night of the week, 7 p.m. The rain last week has meant that the trail's been riding really nicely, especially lower hammies and original. To Cadrona, well, it's official that Cadrona is bringing back the TGIF passes for $55, which means that you can come up after work on a Friday and ride from 4 until 8, grab a post-work bevy, and enjoy those long summer evenings. To Coronet Peak, well, they have been working hard on upgrading the cross-country trail ready for this summer. Opening date is December 10th, so grab your early bird season pass for $2.99. That runs until the 1st of December. To Bike Lendu, well, they have embraced spring wholeheartedly. This Saturday, there's a 7 a.m. public morning run presented by Challenge Wanaka, and that is a 10 kilometer run, not bike, of Kakariki Loop. After that, they are opening the upper mountain. That's subject to weather. The Falcon's Nest race presented by Velo Cafe. It's gonna be happening on Saturday. And on November 19th, they have the Midpoint Jump Jam. This is gonna be big and a great opportunity to get to see some of New Zealand's best riders ride the Brandon Seminyak jumps. To bike Wanaka, well, they had the Super Series Social Fun Duro event. 107 riders took part in that. Absolutely huge one for them. All of the local trails are running well. Kitty Moko has had a recent weeding, planting, and trapping maintenance session. And there's some big news coming out about Lismore. More about that in two weeks' time. To the weather forecast now, well, spring has been well and truly turning it on. Temperatures have stayed with highs above 20 throughout the entire week, and it looks like they're gonna to continue to do so. We've got a beautiful sunny evening tonight and into Friday. That carries on until Saturday morning. We might see a little bit of precipitation before we go back to sunshine on Sunday. Then we've got a little bit of cloud rolling through on Monday, but all in all, it's looking like a fantastic weekend and week ahead. Well, that's us for another week. We'll be back in two weeks' time for more bike, dirt, and event updates. Until then, I've been Nick Hine, signing off from the Queensland Mountain Bike Club Dig Night for Dirt Report. Nice, mountain bikers. <laughs>